Welcome to Cosmetic Networks Live, where we explore the aesthetic and the cosmetic industry from the inside out. Hi, I'm your host, Sheila Maitland, and this is episode 35 for Wednesday, September 25th, 2013. We have a very special guest with us today, a cosmetic dentist from Newport Beach, California, Dr. Douglas Hauk. Welcome, doctor. Thank you. Hi, Sheila. How are you today? Fantastic. Good, good, good. Beautiful day in Newport Beach. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> as, as always, it seems like we're pretty blessed. Absolutely. Well, I wanted to share a story. When we were doing our pre-interview, you shared with me that you come from a family of dentists. In fact, um, you are a third-generation dentist. Is that correct? I am. I am a third-generation dentist, and there are uh, five doctors in our family. So there's physicians and dentists. So wow. That's... My dad was an orthodontist. My grandfather was a prosthodontist. And then we have two or three MDs on the other side of the family. So a lot of doctors, i got to say. That is really exciting. Entertaining at the uh, dinner table. <laughs> I bet. Lots of great things to talk about. Well, um, another thing that we talked about was your hobby. And I thought this was really exciting. And I wanted to sh you to have an opportunity to share this because it's not every day that a person can go to their dentist and also be going to a person who is a movie producer and an actor. Can you share a little bit on how you do that? What inspired you to do that? You know, um, I'll tell you the full story in just a short couple of minutes here. After seeing the dinner table with all my relatives and all the doctors, I kind of thought maybe I didn't want to be a doctor because everybody else was a doctor. So I went to business school, then I went to film school, then I realized that the film business is unstable, I became a dentist. <laughs> but if I was going to be a dentist, I wanted to be in Hollywood, so I opened a practice in Beverly Hills on Wilshire, and I took care of all, all the movie studios. And in doing so, I struck relationships with my patients who were doing a lot of large movies, and they would ask me to come on and do um, some cameos. And I kind of got the, the bite right there that I would go ahead later in life and produce a few movies of my own. But I used my clients, patients, as my network source of how to produce our movies. Wow. So I learned a lot from them, like Reese Weatherspoon or Uma Thurman or Forrest Whitaker, and a lot of old rock and roll guys like Bob Dylan or Greg Allman, the Foo Fighters, Motley Crue. You know, those are fun people to hang with. You learn, learn a lot over time. <laughs> wow, that is really exciting. That's a, that is a great story, I'll tell you. Um, so, you know, then, then we went to your next segment. You know, you were just talking about your hobby, but now we're getting into your passion. And this is something I'm excited about because I want to do this someday. But you like to make wine and you grow your own grapes. You have your own vineyard and you sell your wine. Share, share, share. Well, you know, the winery is really built on, on a, a, a 20 years of great patience in my office. And this is kind of an artistic outlet for me to work really hard in the dental office. And, and these nice patients were able to help me afford this nice winery. And creating wine is, is artistry at the end of the day. And so you get to have the busy life of dentistry and the chaos of that. And then you get some serenity and peace of creating something that people enjoy. You know, and we kind of call it friends and friends to these. <laughs> 